Well, let's see, it's almost time. Let's wait for everybody to connect. Let's hope they connect really soon. Let's see, let's see, Susanna. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I am staying, I, I am staying in my house. Llegando. Arriving. All right. Okay, you say it like this, look, you say, I am just arriving home. Okay. okay I... Sorry. There, uh, I am just arriving home. Yep. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, it's a. Uh, I I have. It's it's have it's it has um traffic. Oh really? You were in traffic? Yes. Uh, I uh, from no por is by 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 um is a multi plaza. Oh really? There was heavy oh. traffic there. 
Yes, teacher. And is it raining? Excuse me. Is it raining? Rain. Yes. It's a raining. No. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Mm -hmm. Well, but the good thing is that you're here in class and tell me how was your day? Did you have a good day? So, so, teacher. <laughs> but um, um, is is they staying in in my office, working in my office? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is that well? That's that's good. I mean. You were in your office, you didn't work out on the street and just the way back home, right? Uh, yes, uh, but um, only in in office, um, very, very, very cool. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, today was a hot day for me. Well, for me, it was a hot day. I feel it hot. I know. It's a... I, I like uh, a temperature um, and mediums. Temperature, but, temperature. Temperature. But oh. uh, I don't like any cool, uh, and the, any hot. <laughs> nor, nor, nor. Nor. Okay, you have to say it like this because you are saying two negations there. You say, I, hold on, this is a little bit complex phrase. Let me explain it to you. You say, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't like it uh, either. No cool, it's cold. Or hot. Hot. Okay, just hold on a second. This is the phrase. I don't like it either cold or hot. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Instead of or, it's nor, nor hot. Nor. nor okay. Yeah, nor means me. I don't like it either cold or nor mm, hot. Nor hot. Yes, that's the way. Yeah, no, in my case, I like it hot. I like it cold. I mean, I don't like it hot. It's for me when it's hot, man, I get sleepy, I got a headache. For me, hot days are terrible. Uh, uh, I, I, it's, it's cool. Uh, I, ha, I have, um, uh, come on, sleeping. <laughs> Oh, you get sleepy. I get <laughs> sleepy. Escape anything. Mm -hmm. Very, no. very cool. Oh, I know. No, for me, my favorite days are windy, rainy, cloudy, and cold. I like the days to be windy, rainy. Cloudy and cold. That's a nice day for me. Okay. So in my in my case, I like I like gray days. Gray days. Yeah, los días grises. Ah, okay. Oh, nice talking to you, Susana. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Maria Luisa, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Um, Good evening, how are you? I am fine, thank you. What about you? Hey. So, 
I, I, I am tired uh, because I, I was, um, I, I had to go get a criminal record clearance in, in the solvency. Uh, tuve que ir a sacar una solvencia. Oh, no. Uh, I was a very tight day because I had I I had to go to get a criminal record. Uh, clients and, uh -huh, and there was a very large large line that took the took the two hours to get up get out uh, uh, it was a long uh, queue it was a long queue a long queue uh, yes queue see uh, for 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 make the tramits and a uh, at, at superintendencia Already. del sistema financiero uh -huh. is a uh, uh, the the need the need solvents the the clearance 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 uh -huh. oh really hmm. so there were long lines Sí, two, two hours. Hour. Two hours. Two hours, yeah. That yeah, was long. Uh -huh. the, the one, two, at 3 p.m. From one to 3 p.m. Two, three, uh -huh, yeah. From one, from one to from, 3 from p.m. From one to 3 p.m., yeah. Oh, yeah, it was long. It was a long time. Well, okay. but the good thing was that you got it, right? Okay. The good thing is that you got it, right? Ah, see. My, my, my routine, I... In the morning, uh, I went to work. Then... Then to uh, from from eight to twelve. Then I go. I go to. I went to. I I, I went to to antecedentes penales. Oh, yes. Sí, sí. Um. Then then. When when return at my at my work, ah. my work, um, and then um, return at my my house, and then then. Um, the, the, At what time did you return? Did you return home? Uh, the my work uh, five five p.m. Okay, uh, okay. In I right the the my house seven seven o'clock. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Maria Luisa, and welcome to the class. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shanita. How are you? Hi, teacher. How is it going? Um, it's okay. I'm working a lot and, you know, the routine, but I'm here. Today okay. I finish, today I finish my work day at 6 a.m. Then I finish early. <laughs> Finally, what? Well, so, 
So you finish? Yeah, I, I finish this day uh, early because I finish at ah, six. I am I am expecting to see that camera. <laughs> Maybe the next week, teacher. Yeah, yeah, promises, promises, always promises. <laughs> teacher, this weekend ha has a, a crazy day, really. I, I, I can't buy a... a I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't to, to buy... I couldn't a, buy. I couldn't buy. I, I couldn't buy a concept. Okay. Remember, Janira, whenever you use a modal verb after the modal, not to. To disappear. Couldn't buy. Okay. 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 I couldn't buy a, a new handset. Okay. And tell me, tell me, tell me. So, uh, how are you doing with the closing? Well, no, the closing is over, right? The what? I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. No, you don't. You don't have problems with the closing of the month. Extra oh, work well, at the end of the month. Yes, yes, I have. I have problem because I work with some areas, you know, like Roxana <laughs> and another another people in in the company. Oh. Yeah, because I check uh, synchronize. Uh -huh. is system then yes. uh, uh, I saw I saw some problems with the synchrony because is net is necessary finish this load of data for okay. for close the month this loading of data this loading of data okay this loading of data Okay, well, that's interesting. So, what's the plan for this week? Is it going to be a hard week like last one, or it's going to be like lighter, easier? Hmm. It depends because it depends. It depends. It depends. It uh, it depends. Okay, like like it depends. Uh, if I have a uh, as as well, uh -huh. because I waiting for a project. If okay. I get it, I work a lot. If I I can, if I if I don't, if I don't, maybe I rest. Okay, and you are expecting for it to. For you to get it or not? You want it? You want to get it or not? Yes, I get it because it's more money. Ah, that's <laughs> the reason. Yeah, it's, it's the reason. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Just give me a second, Chanira. I will continue with you in a second. I just need to get the attendance. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Ambarelli Alparo Gomez. Where? Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. I swear I saw Claudia a second ago. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Daniel also. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I didn't listen my present. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where was I? Was the last one? Maria Alejandra. Yes. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maria Luisa Morales de Corpeña. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. And let's see. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Eh, Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuela. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Okay. And Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you, Fabiola. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just waiting for. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where, 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 where is. Um... <laughs> Nestor, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Um, I'm good, teacher, and you? How's it going? Well, you know, same old story, same old story, actually. Here, always busy. Okay. And what about you? How was your day? Uh, my day is, has been a very heavy day. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Um, I have so, so much work. Oh, really? What yes. time did you finish working today? Um, I finish, uh, I finish at 5.30 p.m. It's possible. 5.30, and what time yes. did you make it home? Um, really, uh, at the same time, because um, you remember uh, I spent here in my office. Oh yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah, I mean, so you yeah. finish and you are like free. Yes, yes. Um, I usually, when I finish my work, um, uh, I, then I do it, I do the exercise. Oh, really? That's nice. So you exercise a little bit, you relax. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was wondering, do you go out to have dinner or do you have dinner there at your workplace? Uh, I prepare my dinner. Oh, really? You can cook? Yes, I like it. That's cool. Oh, really? You like cooking? I like cooking. Okay, yes, I like it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, what do you prefer cooking? What's your specialty? What do you like to cook? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to say uh, tortilla frita con huevo. 
Oh, really? Uh, that's that's a delicatessen, my friend. <laughs> yes, uh, I can, let me see. Uh, I like to prepare oh, to cook the spaghetti. Okay. The spaghetti, soap, soap for chicken. Chicken and soup. Chicken soup, sorry. Um, I don't know, I don't remember more. Okay, yeah. That's interesting, that's interesting actually. Man, looking at the really, When um, I, I, I stay here, um, uh, I do it the uh, uh, I don't my cloth cloth. Uh-huh. Um also I washing my cloth too. I do my own laundry. I do my own laundry. Uh, yes. I do my own laundry. Really? Oh, that's good. I mean you do everything. Yeah, I was always I was always wondering how do you do that? How do you manage? So, what time do you wake up every day? Um, let me see. Usually, um, I wake up at five five a.m. At five. What time do you get to work? What time do you start working? Uh, I start at eight. 30 a.m. And you are awake from since 5 a.m.? Yes, I like to, to go for a room. Mm. Yes, um, uh, around um, one hour and a half. I, one, hour, one hour and a half. One hour and a half. Yes. Uh, then go back to the office at six six thirty a.m. Okay. Yes. Um, and then I uh, I prepare my breakfast. Mm -hmm. And finally, I start uh, to work at eight thirty a.m. A.m. Yeah, yes. That is my um, daily routine. Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, because in my case, if I live in the same place where I work and I start working like uh, 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 like eight thirty, man, I will be awake at eight. If not, you can ask. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where is Maria Alejandra? Maria Alejandra. You will see. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Maria Alejandra. What time do you start working? At <laughs> uh, 9 a.m. <laughs> okay, what time do you wake up? I woke up at 10 minutes at 9 a.m. <laughs> okay, 10 minutes before working. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I brush my teeth and I wash my face and I turn off the computer. <laughs> okay. You see, Nestor? That's the way. Man, 5 a.m., that's terrible, Nestor. I don't know how do you do. <laughs> okay, and, and what about on Saturdays? Do you work Saturdays, Nestor? Yes, yes. Uh, it's the same. It's the same. Uh, the difference is uh, I finish my work at um, 12 noon. Oh, really? And you go back home at that time? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I, I take my bus um, around the, the 1 p.m. And uh, I arrive to my home 
um, let me see, um, at 3.30 p.m. 3.30, okay, that's cool. What what do you exactly do in your company, Nestor? Um, <laughs> I do it so many things, but uh, uh, I, I do it the import export. Oh yeah, you told me you do you work in the import export. Yes, right. but yeah, you ex I, you explained that to me already. Yes, but I also uh, I do it the the billings or facturation. I I don't know. Yeah, billings. Yes, um, and the logistic okay. uh, in my in my factory, um, I don't know, the, the administration, um, all the, the factory. Okay, quite interesting. Well, thank you very much, Nestor. Thank you for you. So, Maria Alejandra, tell me what about you? I won't ask you what time you started working because you just tell me, tell me what time did you finish working today? I finished working. Uh, for my um, for my usual education at 7 p.m. Okay. But I don't have a case. I don't have a case at uh, maybe at 6, um, 5, 45. Okay. If you don't have a case, you finish at 5, 45. Yes, I only see, I only saw my computer and check, check, uh, only check, check my, my computer. computer and only that. <laughs> okay. Because That's I only nice. work, oh, I work at real time, or how do you say tiempo real? Yeah, real time. Uh -huh, real time. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. So let's see, tomorrow, no, Thursday is your day off, right? Yes, Thursday is my day off. So tomorrow you go back to your routine. Yes. Tomorrow okay. I work very hard. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much, Maria Alejandra, welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, mister, how's everything? And you? I'm just fine and just seeing that you have a little trouble with connection. I don't hear you that much. I'll get back to you later, Daniel. Perhaps later you have a better connection, okay? Let's see. Let's see, I remember seeing... Uh, 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 uh. Francisco, hello, Francisco, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? Just fine, teacher. Uh, so, oh, you're at work? Man, I never understand your schedule. That's crazy. I just yeah. know that Thursday is a day off or Wednesday? Uh, this week uh, is uh, Friday. Only, only Friday. Only Friday. Saturday, yes, only Friday and Saturday. Uh, I have a night shift. Okay. Night shift. That's well. Tell me. I have never. I have never asked you. Uh, what do you prefer, morning shift or afternoon or night shift? Which is better for you? Yeah. Uh, uh, for me, it's better afternoon and night shift. 
Okay, morning shift, like, not like this. Right? You don't like the morning shift? Why? Because I I have a wake up very early. <laughs> I understand you. I totally understand you. I hate waking <laughs> up early. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> Okay, and tell me, what time do you wake up when you got the morning shift? Uh, I wake up uh, at 4, 4 a.m. Ouch. Yeah, and you get the transportation to your job, right? Yes, uh, I get my company's transportation at 5 a.m. Okay, and you arrive to your job? At 6, 6 a.m. Okay, and you finish around one, right? Excuse me, teacher? You finish working around one or two? No, two, 2 p.m., teacher. Okay, and yeah, yeah, it's not good. That shift is not good. So the afternoon shift is better for you. You get to your job at what? At two? Yeah, uh, uh, at two, two p.m. And finish working? At 10, 10 p.m. From two to 10 p.m. Yes, uh, it's sure. And then you go home, you arrive home, what, midnight? Mm, approximately, teacher. Depend uh, that uh, the time we all we go out. Okay. For example, if uh, it uh, happen, uh, Trouble with the operation, the or God. Teacher, how do you say when se mueve, digamos, la hora o se adelante, atrasa la hora de salir? Oh, when the checkout time gets delayed. Delayed means atrasada. Delay. Yep. Okay. Delay the squad. For example, uh, yesterday uh, we go out uh, around 10. 10, 20. Okay, and you are right home? Uh, at 30, excuse me, teacher. <laughs> uh, at 11, 11, 11 minutes. Okay, that's okay. That's not that late, but for me. <laughs> So right now you got the afternoon shift. Yes, sure. in this, yes. In this moment you're in the afternoon shift. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So that means that tomorrow you wake up late. Yes, sure. That's cool. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the weather in, in this shift is uh, I wake up uh, for, for example, uh, 8 a.m. <laughs> oh. uh, in this shift, in this shift, when I, okay. when I, uh, when I have a uh, uh, shift. Mm -hmm. It's okay, 8 a.m. It's fine, you are relaxed. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's Great, really thank you very much. Very yeah okay, of course yeah, of course it's always better thank you very much francisco
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Today I'm not going to talk to all of you guys because we have different activities. Ambar, hello Ambar, how are you? Hello teacher, good evening, I'm fine. Sorry. Ambar, I, I was worried. You are always very early in the class. I was like, where's Ambar, where's Ambar? So, Sorry Ambar, teacher, but I was eating. Uh, Oh, be late. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was like, where's Amber? She's always on time. It's not common. Sorry. Happens. Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry. Don't worry, mm. Amber. Hello. How are you? How was your day, my dear? Uh, eh, I have a busy day. Oh, really? Very busy day. But and it was productive? a productive day. Oh, Thank that's you. good. That's good. That's, that's yes. the kind of days you like, right? Busy but yes. productive. Exactly. So you could finish. You could finish all your activities. Yes, I finished my activities, but uh, tonight I was eating very late. Hmm. Oh really? You usually yes. have dinner earlier. Usually, but today it was exception. Exception, right? Or. Today, yeah, today was an exception. Okay, what time do you usually have dinner, Amber? I usually have dinner at 7 p.m. Okay, uh, yeah, and today you were having dinner at eight, that's late. Yes. So I yes, imagine yes. that it, it was really a long day at work. Yes, I, I have a, I had, sorry, a very, very busy day, but product. Productive, productive day. Yeah. Productive day. That's, that's cool. I mean, you feel satisfied when everything goes according to the plan, right? Yes, because I, how do you say, empezado bien el mes? I started my, my month. Uh, okay, good. Ah, okay. A, I started my month very, very good. Very well, oh, that's cool. Yes, that's I'm glad cool. for, for this. Okay, so that means that you're going to get your 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 goals. Yes, I, I hope to uh, accomplish my goals this month. Accomplish, accomplish my goals. Accomplish, accomplishment goals. Okay, that's right, that's right. Yes. Excellent. Well, Amber, <laughs> I am so happy to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, Roxana, hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Mm, I'm fine, I'm working now. All Thank right. you, Yanira. Oh, it's your name. I am in classing. Uh, so I uh, have a lot of things to do now, but I hope so. I just finish my closing tomorrow. At okay. the morning. I hope so. Yeah, you know, Janita told me it's good when Roxana works late because finally at, <laughs> at, last, at last she's doing something productive for the company. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So thank uh, you, Roxanne. Thank you, Yanira. <laughs> I start. I, I I'm working since seven a.m. and um I haven't uh, take my dinner now. I haven't taken. I haven't taken my dinner now, but I try I have, to. Oh, listen, 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 listen. I haven't taken my dinner yet. Oh, okay. I I haven't taken my, my dinner yet. Oh. No he tomado mi cena todavía, ¿verdad? Yeah. El jet oh, es como todavía. todavía. Yeah. But everything is okay. Like okay. Uh, Amber, I think that he, my day, it was a productive day. Okay, and excellent. Yeah, I have a lot of things to do in my work, but everything is okay. That's good, cool. that's good. Cool. That's the attitude. And, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, tell me. And similar to um, Maria Alejandra, I wake up 
five minutes before, before my, <laughs> your before schedule my begins. Work. Yeah. Before my schedule begins. Okay. Yeah, been there, done that. But it's very interesting because um, I have a son, so he needs to uh, connect to Zoom to receive the class too. Ooh. And all the time, all days, we are wake. We wake up at uh, seven. I know six, 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 fifty five. Fifty. 55 no. yeah 55 so everything so you are you are both on a rush yeah on a rush apresurados yes in the morning uh, i'm sorry I i'm sorry i'm sorry no no on a rush in a rush in a rush in a rush okay. yeah all days in the morning uh, i wake up uh, primero sería First, I wake up first and I connect. Okay, no, 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 it's okay. Your sentence is okay. I wake up first, it's cooked, it's okay. It's a well structured sentence, it makes completely sense. But when we are speaking, you say, you actually say it like this look, you say, I am the first to wake up. Okay, I am the first to wake up. I am the first to wake up. Okay. So um, I connect him uh, previously, and then I connect my computer to the VPN to start. So sometimes he starts the class with the um, a camera off because he's getting he's, ready. Yeah, because he is in the bed. Oh, that's cool. But it's the same history all day. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand you. I understand you. It's hard when you got kills. Yeah. Well, I think thank you that very much. it's better stay at home. Yes. I prefer, yeah, I prefer, yeah. Um, he is a. Studying, studying in yeah. the um, in the house because it's very difficult uh, in the morning um, with kids yeah. in another uh, place. Yeah, you yeah. yeah you have to go drop him off, the, pick the him up. Yeah. No, 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 no. Preparing food and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Next year, next year. No, it's going to be beautiful for you. <laughs> no teacher beautiful beautiful day well look at it you had it easy uh, let's see two years ago my son was in his final year in high school yeah two years ago and he used to wake up at 4 a.m have breakfast at 4 30 and leave home quarter to five to go to school every single day for one year. Well, actually for two years, no, three years because he studied at that school, 10th uh, and 11th, yeah, three years. So those three years were so happy. And sometimes when going to bed around one or two, it's very difficult, I know. Uh, yeah, you'll be, you'll get there, don't worry. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's so beautiful, so nice. Ah, so happy days. <laughs> no, I don't think so. For me, um, is the best experience when, uh, in my case, when I'm working in my, ha in my house because I can uh, organize my my times okay. because it's very difficult when you need to move another place. Commute. You, yeah. To commute to another place. To commute to another place. 
because yeah. when I was working in, in the other um, my previous job in my previous job I remember that I I wake up around 4 a.m and it was very difficult because I needed to uh, travel to Santa Elena so the traffic it was very complicated all days every day every day yeah it's very difficult yeah. but yeah. i prefer wake up five minutes after no before my work yeah of course that's easier <laughs> i mean it's more comfortable thank you very much roxana nice having you here thank you teacher okay let's see let's see hey wilfredo got a question for you wilfredo Hi, teacher. Hello, Wilfredo. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm just great, just great. Now, Wilfredo, uh, let's see, let's see. I got a question for you. Tell me. Tell me what, uh, what, what, what do you know? What do you want to know? I want to know actually about uh, you and your company, in your area. How do the people from uh, uh, from quality department, do they have a big interaction with your department? Quality, my company, it is the first of the goals that we have to do. Oh, really? That's cool. Because the company has a um, lemma. How do you say? Cold. Cold. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. And the company says, um, Garantia Incondicional. How do you oh, say really? the Inconditional warranty. Inconditional warranty? warranty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, always we are trying to get the best quality. And we, we, have, we have many, many procedures to... To verify, yeah. To verify. Yeah, man. To, verify. To verify quality. To verify. Ah, verify quality. Yeah. Okay. Then um, we have to to pass some checks every day, and they start okay. all the start always when people start to their job if it, if it is in the um, sewing sewing, uh, sewing 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 production production for um, before to start to to, to see sewing the people need to check um, all the machine that, that, okay. that clean, uh, they clean every day. Mm, check the um, aguja, I don't remember, did you? Metals? Metals, yeah. yeah. They have to check it, mm, the clean, uh, they, they, they have to clean the machine in the afternoon, uh, previous day, in the okay. finish of the day, they have to... At the end the, of the day, at the day. end of the day. I'm okay. Uh, the people has to clean the, um, the area and the machine. And they, they, the people have to put a little uh, white under the, um, a, a, this, this word I don't remember, teacher, prensa tela y, y la máquina. Well, the, the, machine, the machine. Yeah. yeah, the machine is the machine, but the other one um, the machine has many many pieces, pieces. That, pieces yeah, yeah. Like, hold on hold on hold on hold on i remember i remember i remember i know the word is uh presser foot presser foot yeah presser foot ah. yes i'm okay and then teacher it is in the Sewing production floor. 
in my packaging department that were, um, this is my area now, but we have we have another another procedure to to verify the quality. Verify. Because verify the quality. The quality. First, in the morning teacher, the people has to to um, complete a checklist every day, and as a supervisor, we have to check that the pick that the people make this procedure because sometimes the people was wrong uh, about the size of speaker, the back, the polybrook that we use. Then let me check. We use in the polybrook some size of speaker and another supply, supplies, uh, UPC, where this, is, this sticker has all information about the product. The UPC. Size. UPC, it is a sticker that we put in the back, from, uh, back, back the poly back. When you mm -hmm. buy in the store, you check, you can check the size. The oh, color. I know this one. I know this one. You remember? No, I, I know. Yes, sure. Teacher, did you work in a um, factory? No, uh, my mom used to work in high couture. Uh, in a high couture uh, workshop. Mm, alta costura. So, uh, yeah, she used to work in a, in a workshop. Ella trabajó en un taller de alta costura. So, uh, and she had her own machines at home. So when I was a kid and a teenager, I learned how to how to work with some of the machines, and I learned how to sew. I can I can use uh, I don't know the name of that machine in English. Uh, the rana, plana, collaretera. Collaretera. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can work with those with those three, and but. Mostly my specialty was the details by hand because we used to do like uh, wedding gowns. Because we used to do wedding gowns. The estilo de novia. Well, uh, ah, yeah. So I, used to, I used to work on those details. Yeah, as I told you, I've been around, man. I have worked on so many things. Uh, but it, the when when we work in this in this area, uh, we can learn many many things because yeah, sure. it is interesting. Because when I go to the some store and I want to to check some shirts or boxer, yeah, you know wife, what to you know what to look for. <laughs> but but I I. I uh, my wife always told me, hey, what, what, why you always are checking the garment? But it is, it is necessary for me because I can, I can see the garment doesn't have any defect. But sometimes, okay, yeah. uh, some, uh, I don't remember where, but I am going, I was buying a garment, but when I check, uh, under the garment, I, I, I found a hole. Uh, now I can buy, but I told uh, the seller, "Why no? It is, it is good, man. This is no, no problem." <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that. Uh, I, I knew, I know, knew, yeah. past no, I knew. I knew that it is that it, it wasn't it good. Wasn't. Yeah, okay. it wasn't well, right. Interesting. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we'll ask uh, where's Sylvia? Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. 
Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Yes. How are you? I'm just fine. I like it. You say good, like, yeah, normal as usual. Tell me, Sylvia, do you have a quality control in your company? Uh, quality control, what do you mean? Uh, control de calidad? Do you have like a quality control in any of the areas? Or is just developed by supervisors? Yes, just developed by supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay, like uh, who verifies that you are doing your job correctly? Um, there is a person in charge of the reception area. Mm -hmm. And then there are like coordinators in some areas like the bar area, reception, the housekeeping uh, service, the kitchen area, and um, but there is a person in general. There is a person in charge of verifying that everything is okay. going good. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Sylvia, of verifying. Of verifying. Okay, okay. And tell me, in your case, in your personal case, do they check? Uh, do you have a uh, a set procedure for your job that they go and check if you have follow procedure like uh, I'm a guest in your I am a guest in your in your hotel tell me what is the procedure you follow if I go and I want to register to check in actually I want to check in what is I, the procedure that you follow the procedure is um, when you when you enter to the hotel, uh, we have to check the temperature of the okay. guest. Then uh, the guests have to go to the reception and we have to confirm the reservation, the amount of night, the amount of people staying, and all the details about the reservation just to confirm then um we have to give uh like um introduction to the guest like the most important information uh, and after that the guests have to pay for for the stay for their room and we have to to bring the customer to the room that's okay. like the procedures that we follow when a guest comes to the hotel. Okay, imagine that, it. imagine that I'm a guest and I want to go to the, and I want to go to the pool. I love being in the pool. Tell me, until what time am I allowed to be in the pool? Until 10. 10 p.m. Okay, what about the access to the beach? Is it free or... Do, the, do you have a designated time for people to be inside the hotel? No, it's free. There's no, uh, there's no like, um, a, a schedule. Um, I don't, yes, a schedule. There's not like a schedule to go to the beach, but we okay. recommend our guests that if they want to go to the beach at night, they have to be careful because at uh, night there are no many people and sometimes the tides are really high. So okay. they have to be aware about that. Okay, so uh, it's not recommended to be wandering around the beach late at night? Yes. Okay, interesting, interesting. Do you know that word, wandering? No. Wondering. Okay, that means walking around. Mm. Wandering means not... walking around with no destination, okay? Just to go for a walk, for a stroll. Okay. So there is no, there is not allowed to be wandering okay. late at night at the beach. Okay, and there is no safeguard at that time, right? Yes, there's there's no safe 
at night, like I mean like live birds, because sometimes people want to swim in the ocean at night and there are no many Life people birds. and there are no lifeguards like looking around. Because oh, the place yeah. the place is safe um all the time. So the yeah, only... but the but the tide is not safe all the time. Yes, the tides are really high sometimes. Um it's not recommended to go wandering late at night. Interesting. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys. So if you see, we are talking about uh, quality control. Okay. And you know that quality control is something very important. Okay. Now, uh, we have two questions. We have two questions that I need you to get right now. These questions are, is there a quality department in your workplace? Do they monitor and evaluate your positions? I will get you in pairs and you will be asking and answering those two questions to your partner. You're going to have three minutes to ask and answer, okay? And then we come back and we are going to talk a little bit more about that. So, but before we do that, I need to get the attendance. So while I get the attendance, please get the questions, take a picture, write them down because you're going to be asking each other, okay? So meanwhile you do that, I'll get the attendance from you guys. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Claudia Elisette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ok. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. He's on the street. He says. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter is here. Present teacher. William, thank you, Walter. William Present Giovanni teacher. Rosales Galvez. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Yancy Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now I will divide you in those groups. You will have, remember, just three minutes to do the practice, okay? Groups are created, please jump in.
Walter, are you alone? I'll send you to another group, okay? Hello, guys. Oh, there's three here. Remember, what you're going to do is ask the questions, okay? We got the questions here. Is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes or no? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? And you explain, okay? Walter, activate your microphone. Oh, there you are. Okay, hello, William. Hello, Maria Lisa. Hi, good evening. Hello, ladies. Hi, teacher. Hello, Martha. Hello, Amber. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I don't hear the activity because my, my cat Okay, it's simple. Ask and answer these two questions. Is there a quality department in your workplace? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? I send them in the in the Zoom chat. Okay. Yes. So you ask and answer those questions. Okay. the service but there is not like uh the result it is not like a, a department in charge of this yes yeah so you mean that quality control is is taking it's upon the the, the coordinators yes okay like by the way the... sylvia you stay with me tonight 10 minutes are you available yes Perfect. Fine. Okay. Sorry, Janira, you were saying? Oh, we talked about it's more common in, in another another kind of company like uh, industry. Because so in your company, there's no quality control. No, or I don't know. I never listened about this department or this for in your area, oh, there's no. Media? Yeah. Measure, no. measure. Measure, measure. Yeah, well, well, yeah, it, it's like, well, in call centers, you got quality control. They, they record your calls. I mean, you don't know when, like twice, uh, twice in a week or, or once a week they report one or two of your calls and they check out that you follow procedure and that you follow all the steps, how do you behave? And you get a bonus if you pass quality control, if your team passes quality control. Let's see, yeah, in, in industry, it's pretty common. Yes, it's more common. Well, actually, you know, I work at a school, at a private school, uh, when I was working at Garcia Flamenco, we had quality control. And actually they were in charge of checking out that we fulfill all the requirements for ISO because we were under ISO. Ah, uh, yeah, because for teacher, for, for teach? Is, and for teaching. Is, yeah, it's, com it's common uh, fill a test about the teacher, the metal, 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 methodology, methodology, yeah. methodology um, technology used for teach and another stuff. Yeah, yeah, you are just describing that the one you fill in for me, right? Ah, yeah, I remember you wrote <laughs> just so bad things, the same as Sylvia. Sylvia says, no, I don't like this class, I'm bored. Ah. <laughs> Was so bad, so bad. I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, I'll leave you for a second. I'll go check another group. No questions? Okay, bye, teacher. No, no, teacher. Can we cut? Yes.
Okay, interesting. So in my case, uh, I don't mm -hmm. have a quality department, just my boss. Quality control department. Quality control quality department. Control department. Okay. And do and you, Fernando? In my case, uh, we don't have a, a department. We don't have a person. Um, for example, we we work with with uh, IT teams, and one person is charged to quality of the new development. By the way, nowadays uh, I am doing the quality assurance because the person charged of that is absent. So I am doing your your task because. Oh. I do, I'm doing her tasks. I, I'm doing her tasks, sorry. Uh, because we are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six person only. One quality assurance, one administrator, it's me, one development, the boss, and other administrator. Uh, but she's in charge, she's charged about the, the store activities. And in my case, I am charged of the backup. Uh, we call it um, office backup. No, backup. Backup office. Uh, I don't know. Office backup. Well, office backup. Yeah. Office backup. Uh -huh. it's, it's always the system that it's were behind. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I man. I I hate quality control for for us for teachers is uh, a lot of paperwork. A lot of paper, yeah. yeah, I mean, I used to be on the ISO. Man, that's crazy. You have to Can turn I... in so many paperwork. It's terrible. I can't imagine the teacher. Yeah, and... once I once I stay because. Uh, I mean, once I had to, 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 my boss was, she was a medical disability. She had a medical disability and it started four days before the ISO inspection. And the principal called me and told me, okay, you are in charge of the department. So I had to defend ISO, man, I have like, like, like this stack of papers besides, and I had to have everything on paper and everything that was in paper, I also must have it in the same order in the computer, like six, yeah, like six hours, just checking out everything. Man, <laughs> terrible. They, they didn't think green. It was terrible terrible believe me the good thing the only good thing was that i used to help my boss a lot so i knew what i was talking about i knew all her procedures and i mean i knew everything about the department how the department worked but oof, it's terrible and it's stressful i can't imagine me like Jenny, like roxana sorry <laughs> <laughs> Me like Roxana, we, we yeah, they, they a, are exactly a alike. They are exactly yeah, alike. Yeah. Roxana and Janira. <laughs> yeah, they almost the same person. I thought they were twins. <laughs> yeah, it's confused. Yeah, start starting with the skin color and everything, they are like twins. <laughs> yeah, Janira is Janira is behind some days ago. Yeah. We don't show. No, she, she doesn't she's hiding. Show. Yeah, she's hiding. Oh, she's having problems with the com with the camera. With the camera. Yeah, she needs to get a new camera, but she says that she doesn't have enough time. Oh. She, and Roxana she, says, nah, she doesn't do nothing. <laughs> she prefer by she prefer visit uh fancy restaurants. Yeah. That's why, that's why. Fancy restaurant. Yes. She's single. Oh, no. Being single, being single, everything is so easy. Yeah, all yeah. the money is for herself. Your, 
Yeah, for you, when the money, remember what I was telling you yesterday. You can say it like this. Oh, when the money is for yourself, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, you got more freedom, but when you got responsibilities, man. Yeah. <sighs> you need and, more money. <laughs> yeah, always. believe me. Whenever I come home, they're always asking me for money. I'm like, oh, I spend a lot. I well, it's not that they are. It's not that they are asking me for. It's just that there's so many things to, to, to many responsibilities to fulfill, and you gotta be on top of everything, man. Like, you start spending money in little things, like you buy the bread, you buy the tortillas, you buy the water, and you have to pay little things here, like you have to pay for the gym, and gas money for gas if you have if you use the car and and i mean if you go out in the car you must always bring a little egg a little extra bill because you don't know what happens in the street you get a flat tire and everything and then at the end of the month the utilities man having a family is so expensive yes i know i prefer them visit uh, dollar city Oh no, those things are terrible. <laughs> the city horrible. all the time tell you what do you need? Yeah, but you know what's worse? For me, I mean, I can't, I go to Dollar City. I spend money there. But it's worse for me when I go to Epa, Vidri, or Freon. Man, uh. so many things that I like and that I and that I would like to have, like. I see a drill, I want a drill. Do you know a drill, Roxana? No, what is taladro? a drill? Taladro. taladro. Oh, taladro. Mm -hmm. Now I got in my mind that I want a welder. Ahora estoy, se me ha metido que quiero un aparato de soldadura. But I want an inverter. It's a new one and I want to try it. Mm -hmm. So I want one of those. And um, I'm also an electrician. And whenever I see a electrician's tools, I mean, I'm like, I want them. But you so, use that. Yeah, I use them, but man, tools are expensive. Yeah. I so, know. so uh, hardware stores, ferreterias, are for me, like for you, is dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I get there and I want everything. I start looking aisle after aisle and I want everything. Me it's, too. It's Disneyland for you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm so happy whenever I go there, but I'm so sad when I see that money is not enough. I just remember the time, that time when, when I was single, but I remember when I was single, Man. I didn't have money. To, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, true money that's true. Either. So yeah, but the difference is this: I didn't used to worry about that. If I had or I didn't, I wasn't. I didn't worry that much. Yeah. I mean, it was okay for me. It was just having for the bus ride was enough. So the the bus was enough. Yeah. Same. I mean, and I was cool. No problem. A day at a time. Man, yeah, a day at a time, exactly. A day at a time, that's the expression. But then I decided to get married. And believe me, being <laughs> married at 22, it's crazy. It's crazy. I understand no, completely. <laughs> I don't regret it, but I mean, I had to face reality pretty soon. Yeah. And to face that type of reality, ooh, it's hard, yeah. but it's cool. I mean, it builds character, whatever. Construye <laughs> character. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go back. We need to do an exercise there. Okay, okay. Yeah. and Francisco? Francisco is busy, Francisco. he says. Francisco is busy, I, I think it's busy. Se perdió, nos contestó hace un rato. Yeah. No creo que no. solo este día. He's Se sleeping. Fue. He's no. sleeping in the in the office, you know. Se fue. Yeah. And, and Walter Walter is is up. 
Walter, 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 uh, Walter, no, Walter. Wilfredo, is the boss. No, 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 Edward, Edward. Edward, Edward, creo que era el jefe de él. No sé. Yo creo que era Wilfred. Okay, guys, I was checking out the groups and you were you were actually talking. You were actually asking and answering the questions. That's perfect. Now, guys, uh, we have a problem right now. The problem that we have is that we are, uh, you are quality control department and you are faced with a problem, okay? What are we going to do? The activity is as follows. I'm going to divide you again in groups, but now, now uh, the groups are going to be bigger and you will be faced with a problem. I mean, I will, pass in, I will be passing by from group to group, telling you what's the problem and you as quality department will give me solutions, okay? suggestions how could we solve you're going to tell me oh you should do this or you you are going to tell me uh, you'd better uh, fix it this way okay so i will divide you in groups i'll give you a problem and you will give me suggestions to solve the problem okay so let's see let me recreate the groups perfect Okay, let's see, one, two, three. Perfect, 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 perfect. Groups are created, please jump in. Okay, guys, you are quality control of a clothing factory, okay? And you have a problem with shirts. All shirts are having, are being defective on the stitches, okay? Stitches, están teniendo problemas con las puntadas, okay? you will give me suggestions. I know it is not your area, so that's why I want you to be creative, okay? Is it clear? Is it clear the activity? Yes. Claudia, yes. Marcela, Amber? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, hello, 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 guys. Hello, now, now you are quality control. And I am the representative of a company. You send me, you work, uh, your company is a factory, okay? You work with pieces for machines. Now, the problem is that I am in the United States. I am your client. And I just called you telling you that a whole lot of parts is defective. So I know it's not your area. I need you to be creative. Give me possible solutions, okay? Is it clear the activity? Um, no. <laughs> Fernando, you got it? Uh, I, I 
I think I, I think I got it. We sell you. Yes, you sell me parts, uh, okay. repuestos for machines, the parts pieces, and all and are defective. Yes, a whole lot, un paquete que me enviaron, un cargamento, a chip load okay. is defective. I don't accept it. So what are you going to do to solve the problem? Okay. Remember, you have to identify the load, see which machine produced it, if, find out if the machine is faulty, check out, recall the product, check out if the product is really defective or not, if it's fulfilling the, the client's requirements or not according to the contract. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to talk there, right? Right. See you. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. Let's Here comes the help. problem. Yeah, thank what? you very much. I know I'm a problem. My wife always tells me that. <laughs> <laughs> the problem okay. you provide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, nah, no, nah, never mind. I mean, you said it too easy. Me la puso muy fácil. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, guys. For you, it's going to be easy. In your company, there's quality control. Look, the problem is this. Your company produces a shoes, tennis, sneakers. Shoes, Nike, Puma, or Adidas. <laughs> Any brand. But the problem is this. Okay. Okay? The problem is this. I am your client. And I, uh, and I just called you and told you, look guys, a whole load, the whole, the whole load you send me, I am in another country, you send me 5,000 pieces and, the, and I have found uh, them defective. And I am sending the whole load back to you. Okay, you as quality control, what do you do? So you're going to tell me, you're going to talk to me about uh, recalling the product, checking out the, the design, checking out if it's really faulty, uh, check out the contract to see if, if the product was fulfilling the client's requirements according to the paperwork, all that stuff, okay? Checking out if the machines are giving problems and give me solutions, okay? Okay. Develop the system. Hello, guys. Oh, okay. Hello. okay. Now, the problem you have is this. I am your client. You design a clothing. Okay. And now I am telling you that there's a problem with the design. Okay. I am telling you that the problem is that the pattern is not correct. One sleeve of this shirt is tighter than the other one. Okay. In 1,000 garments, okay? And I am sending it back to you. How are you going to solve that situation? What do you do as quality control department? Because it will end on your lap. Va a terminar en ustedes, okay? Now, you have you have one person in this group that works in that area. Tienen a Walter, él trabaja específicamente en esa. So, you will ask him. You will ask him, okay? Bump yes, him out uh, for information, uh, guys. Saquen la información. I had, I had information, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, quality control. You are quality uh, control uh, department. You are the quality control department, okay? Let's see. And the problem that we have here, I'm going to make it easy for you. The problem we have here is that uh, you work in construction. So we are going to take advantage of one person here from the group, okay? You just built a whole building at seven stories building, seven floors building. But I, I, I am the client and my, the engineer in charge of the supervision 
for me as a client, the one that I hire, an external one, is telling me that there's a problem with all the bathrooms, okay? There's a problem with all the bathrooms. All of them have leaks. En todos ellos hay fugas. You are quality control from your company. Okay, you are the supervisors. How are you going to fix that? Do you understand the activity? No. Repeat this again. Daniel, do you understand it? Yeah, uh, it's like we, yes, the, well, we have troubles with the, arriving uh, on Friday I don't know, do you say flood or leak? leak. Leaks, uh, fugas. Leaks, yeah, fugas. Leaks. Okay. Uh, so Daniel. the bathrooms that we installed have leaks, and we have to find out how to solve that problem. Okay, and yes, and you have to find out what happened, why, when you pass by checking out, the problem didn't appear. Well. Okay. Ah, uh, so, okay. So it's like we check it out at first, and there is no problem. Then you go, and there were a problem. Yeah. So, that's Yanira. No, no, not. No. It's not. I'm sorry, Yanira is busy. <laughs> No, I'm okay. here, teacher. Okay, maybe no. it's, I don't know, maybe it's Daniel or I don't know who. Yeah, she's uh, my yes, my wife. <laughs> oh okay, perfect. So guys, uh do you understand your activity? Please explain to, to the rest of the group. I'll go check in with the other groups, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Person. How is it going? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for me, guys? Let's see. I think yes. you today you and they have to take all the machines and realize a mounting night with the support technicians and when have a result decided to calibrate the machines or change the pieces okay interesting interesting nice point of view what do you think Amber I think the company should change the materials Maybe the materials, it be bad quality. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Claudia, what about you? Um, it's necessary to sell. Llamar, sell. Call. Yes, call. The department, the... Man, how do you plan on maintenance? Maintenance? Maintenance and support for the calibrated machine and improve the, the stitches of the machine. Okay, perfect. Hey, Marcela, what about you? Uh, we can request an evaluation of technical. And he can give us uh, an assignment and the steps to follow to about the quality and the stitches. Okay. Or if we can, we need, uh, like Maria said, uh, calibrate the machine or change the piece. Okay, perfect. Quite interesting. Thank you. Just let me check if the other groups are finishing so we can go back in a, in two minutes, actually. Companies that have this kind of, of business, but they have um, 
a person who is responsible about about check that the merchandise um, are in good state and condition. there are many condition and there are many steps for for um, send send the merchandise and if one of these step doesn't apply uh the the package the package uh can go out um the other i think can be a good option hey, Wilfredo. I, I am sorry i i uh -huh. i uh, was losing my chart uh-huh. In my computer, uh, I, I am here. I'm here, okay. Uh, Tell me, sorry. Or check. Or review. The, or check. Review or check the correct. The correct. Review if the Design. department are applying the correct measures. Measurements. 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 ¿Por qué measure? Medidas. 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 Measures. Measurements. ¿Por qué le escuchan measure? Measure es medir. Medida. Ajá. Uh -huh. But when you say medida es measurement. Measure. Look at it. Look at it. Measure me dijo Google teacher. Eso es medir. Measure. Um, measurement. It's the verb. Okay. Measurement. measurement. Medida. Department. Department is applying the correct measurement. 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 <coughs> Uh -huh. um, the recommender is the it would be oh, better okay. if next thank you Rosana. 60 seconds then no more time teacher See, everybody's coming back now. Nine, ten seconds. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Amber, Claudia, Marcela, and Maria Alejandra. Let's see, the problem that they were facing was that their company uh, produces uh, pieces, parts for, for sending to another country and they were defective. So we want to know what, what are they going to do? So Amber, tell me. Well, uh, I think the company must change the materials, maybe the materials it was, but quality or the company must, man, how do you say mantenimiento? Give maintenance. Give ma maintenance to the machines uh, or the company 
must must practice tests in the machine or another things, but I don't remember very well. Okay, no, but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. Let's see another participation from this group. Uh, Marcela, what do you think? Uh, we can repeat some evaluation of the technical. And he okay. did not an assessment and he can give us the steps to, uh, to if we need a uh, calibrate the machine or change the piece to about the quality in the stitches. Okay, perfect. Very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Fernando, Silvia, Susana, and Jensi. Okay, what was your problem, Fernando? Fernando. Fernando's phone. Okay, Sylvia, what was the problem assigned to you? Okay. Uh, the problem is that the, the client, the client uh, is in another country. Okay. And he ordered like uh, a package of parts, but they were defaults. And, they, and then he informed to the company to let them know about the problem. So we had to look for, for a solution about the, 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 the problem. Okay, and what's the solution you you decide to give? What 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 are the steps you are going to follow in order to solve that problem? Oh okay. Um the company okay we should inform the manufacturing department then uh, we should create a report about the default product. Then we can proceed to bring the parts back to check them. And I could yes. I could say that we should like um, revise the procedures that the company follow when sending a product because they they must have like a like a checklist or something that confirm that the, that the product is in good condition in good conditions when we send a product to another country or we send the product to our client thank you very much sylvia uh Jensi, do you have anything to add Jensi. sorry I was talking, but the, the microphone was me. Uh, sorry. Uh, another can be um, a, ask them to ship the part for check if it is our fault, or they can manipulate the product. Um, in this case, we, um, we are going to pay the cost to import the products because it's like a gift or discount for the client. And finally, define what, what is the problem. If it's our fault or is it fault? If it's our fault, um, replace um, the part and send again to the client because we, we need the client. Uh, because they buy us uh, the products. And um, if it's their fault because they, are, they don't understand the, the instruction, uh, we have to give so, some tutorial um, or other explain to them for, for um, give- um, Manipulation, deal. Uh, and, yes, I think this okay. is the- Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Group number three, there was Jose Osorio, Maria Luisa, Nestor, and Wilfredo. You were producing shoes. 
right? So, Nestor, you're going to talk to me first. What was the problem, Nestor? Teacher, uh, sorry, I don't understand. So, we queried what uh, what's the problem? Um, I I think the problem is we have a production for five thousand. 5,000 pieces. Okay. Uh, and they have uh, uh, some problem. I think that, that it was problem, yes or not. Okay, let's ask uh, 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 Mr. Osorio. Hi, teacher. Okay. If that was the problem, what was the solution? Yes, yeah, the problem is it's about a, 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 a batch with failures in the product okay. and in the, the actions uh, maybe uh, check where the production batch was produced and identify the cause of the defect and excuse me the first is give an apology for the quality problem and assume the commitment to replace the defective batch and okay. explain to the client uh, more activities to prevent uh, uh, problems in the future. Okay, the uh, actions, the actions. The actions. And then maybe implement an audit in process in the area of the failure to prevent the, the reject on the rejects uh, of more products. Uh -huh. okay. mm. It may be check the existence uh, hey. of available productions to replace the delivery batch as soon as possible. Maybe. Okay. And what about checking out if there is not another uh, another batch of products defective. Yes. Can you repeat again, teacher? And do you take into consideration the fact that there could be more product for with other clients that is defective? <laughs> is somebody, can you help me? Okay. Let's go. Tomaron en cuenta el hecho de que puede ser de que haya producto en que otros clientes han recibido con el mismo problema? Mm, not sure. Ah, you will have it as a homework. No, no, no. We, later we are going to work. Very well done. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Thanks to Nestor, Wilfredo, Jose, Maria Luisa, who's also in this group. Now I got group number four, Fabiola, Marta, Roxana, and Walter. Oh, okay, they had... They had a problem with pattern. Uh, they were talking about clothing. And they tell me that the problem they have was that uh, they were producing shirts and the shirts have a little problem, a minimum problem, the sleeves of the shirts. One was very tight, the other one was very loose. So Roxana, I'm not asking Walter because I know that is his area. So Walter is like cool with that. Roxana, you tell me part of the solution. And the first one, we decide that the first step is uh, apologize with the mm -hmm. customer and give a new product with the correct measurement. Okay. And what about the previous product? Are you going to recall it? Um, yes. <laughs> no, because mm. uh, in this case, uh, the customer is present in the in the store. Okay. So we have a problem now with okay. with that with that uh, customer. Maybe the other um, shirts are okay. Okay. <laughs> or Perfect. nobody uh, lo notó. How do you say notó? Realize. Nobody realized it maybe so or nobody 
took no yeah realized no took notice doesn't apply well thank you now i got a uh, mm, the last group was Daniel, Francisco, William, and Shamira. Okay, they had a big problem. They were working in, Daniel was in charge of, of building a building, a seven floor building. And the problem is that I'm the client. I send my people to check out the, the construction and all the bathrooms in all the levels are leaking, I fugas. So Daniel is in charge of the project and Janita, William and Francisco are his quality department people, the one in charge of checking. So Janita, what are you going to do? Well, it's not common because we check all materials. We use a, a high quality, and the plumber uh, make a test in pressure of water. That is not okay. common, but maybe happen because some worker doesn't go this, this job. Okay. But mm -hmm. for solve this problem, we send to solve, another- To solve the problem. To solve the problem, we send another plumb for check and is if it's necessary, change the part. Okay. Yeah, because we were not specific if, if it was a faucet, if it was uh, just a pipe. Excellent, excellent, very well done. Hey guys, I was checking down the groups and I, realized that you were interacting, you were using English, which is the most important part. And we were working very actively. I congratulate you on that. And now before move, we move on, I'm going to switch to Spanish just for a second. Voy a regresar al español solo por un instante. Bueno, primero agradecerles a todos por estar presentes. Les recuerdo las indicaciones que siempre tenemos, ¿verdad? Estamos casi a la mitad del curso. Mañana estamos a la mitad del curso. Eh, trabajamos en la plataforma. Tenemos que terminar el día de mañana. Yo reviso sección 2 y midterm. Eh, déjenme ver qué más. En la medida de lo posible, la recomendación siempre, los que podamos, tengamos la posibilidad. Yo sé que no siempre se nos da que tengamos la posibilidad de tener nuestras cámaras encendidas es importante. Eh, recordemos que las asistencias, algunos hemos perdido un par de días, son muy importantes. Vamos jugando ya con los tiempos, los que hemos estado faltando. Estamos jugando ya con tiempos y viendo de que se nos van a ir acortando las oportunidades para faltar. Y recuerden que a veces surgen emergencias. Tomémoslo en cuenta. Quiero ver qué más. Me faltan, no me cumplieron una tarea casi la mayoría que les dije ayer. Me quedé esperando. Aquí van a ser del libro. Pero bueno, eso lo arreglamos luego. La esperaré luego. Eh, por favor, les repito, la asistencia, muy importante. Si no han dado caso, este es una emergencia, pues, de modo, tenemos un par de días que podemos faltar, pero... Tratemos de mantenerlos, guardarlos, salvarlos. Son preciosos esos minutos. ¿Ok? Recordemos que en SAFOR no se evalúa también el tiempo. Nos cuentan los minutos que pasamos conectados a la clase, a la sesión. Eh, hago este recordatorio porque es mi obligación hacerlo. Este grupo realmente ha sido bastante constante y casi todas las clases los tengo a todos conectados. Son muy pocos los casos en los que no se me conectan. Yo los felicito por ello. Sé de que Hacen un gran esfuerzo. Eh, y antes que se me olvide, se lo diré en español para que lo recordemos. Recuérdense, chicos, nos quedan dos semanas y hay una tarea final para la última semana. Ustedes tienen que preparar una presentación de dos minutos que van a hablar la próxima semana. Entre lunes o martes voy a dar la programación. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo comenzarían? Porque van a comenzar miércoles, no, jueves de la próxima semana. Comenzarían las presentaciones. 
Ustedes escogen su tema y listos para presentarlo, ¿ok? Let's see what else. I'm going back to English. Well, no, the activity was well done. Pretty well done. I like your pronunciation. I like your fluency. I can see a lot of improvements. Before we move on, so we don't lose time at the end, I need to get the attendance one last time. Let's see, and just let me get it. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Thank you, teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Teacher. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Francisco. Thank you. Fabiola Georgina Sila. Present. Hey guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate you being here in my class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. guys. Okay, let's see. Hello, Sylvia, how are you? Sylvia. Hello, teacher. I am good. What about you? I'm oh, just fine, just fine. So, Sylvia, tell me, well, I don't think you are having problems with this course. It's still, I mean, for your level of English, it's not difficult. Is there any topic that is giving you problems or any type of expressions, perhaps, or part of the vocabulary? Tell me, somewhere I could help you or at least give you a tip. Uh, okay. I think I am good now with the topics we that we have um studied i think we are we are good very good i just okay. have to i just have i think to review the the verbs like in past in past participle because sometimes i forget some rules or sometimes okay. i i don't use the, cor the verbs in the correct way uh, even though most of the time, I mean, in your case, it's quite easy because you gotta practice it like on a regular basis, right? Yeah. Okay, what I will recommend you is that if you practice it, uh, I mean, you practice it every day in that school, but uh, I don't know, you just practice it related to your area or you talk with people about different type of stuff? Um, most of the time, I'm speaking about my area because I'm just like repeating information, but um, 
but sometimes I have to talk about other things because when they ask me about another service or when, when they ask me like for a recommendation of a restaurant, I have to speak and I have to use another type of um, environment. Oh. Environment, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, and um, I context, try. Context. Context. Ah, yes. I I have to talk in another context, but I try to speak with them about other topics because I need to like to practice. Okay, and get um, more vocabulary. And I mean, in your case, you have the opportunity to get the correct pronunciation of the vocabulary firsthand from native speakers, and that's I mean. That's pretty cool. Yes, that's really good. Yeah. And, and, uh, and they, I hear different accents. Yes. And, and they are they have different accents. Yeah, that's normal. That's quite normal. And tell me, I got a question for you. Do they encourage you? I mean your bosses, your supervisors, your coordinator, do they encourage you to, to speak in English as much as possible with the clients? Yes. Um, when I started working for my company, I have four years working for for, the, for my company. And when I started working there, I didn't speak English. Um, then my boss said that I had to learn English because they need that I speak with the clients. Because I am working in the reception area. Then I investigated about uh, an English course, but it was face-to-face. Uh, -face. I had to go to San Santa Tecla, I think, um, to study English. And I was there like for one year and a half. Um, okay. And that's, and I, I, I was studying there. Uh, it helped me a lot. And then I studied by my own. By myself my or by my own? On my own, yes. On my I, own or by I, myself? Yes, I started by my own at home. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. videos. Hold on. I started on my own or you can say I started by myself. Okay. Repeat, please. Okay, thank you. I started on my own or Perfect. I started by myself. Perfect. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. I mean, it's hard, actually. To study on your own is hard because you need, like, more discipline. Yes. That's actually the hardest. The hardest way to study is when you got a little bit of knowledge and you got to study on your own. I mean, you don't have, like, a, like guidelines, like a, somebody who tutors you. I mean, that's pretty hard. And... I mean, it's so good that you you could do it and that you took advantage of it. Or do yes. you think it was easier for you? What do you think it was easier for you? To study on your own or to be like this, receiving classes? No, I, um, it was better to be in class um, because um, I was, I went to study or Yes, I went just one day per week. Mm. I went on Sundays, yes, but the but the, the whole day from seven to like four or five p.m. So we studied the whole That's day, crazy. and that helped me. That helped me a lot because we were speaking with my with my um, classmates all day, all day long, and well, actually. Then, it worked for you because you had the, the extra practice in your workplace. Yes. Yeah, because yes. I mean, the only the only problem with that is that, I mean, if you would just go to classes one day and then you get classes until seven days later, I mean, you spend six days without practicing. In your case, it was good because you have the opportunity to practice. I mean, the following day you were practicing, listening, getting in touch yes. with the language, right? Yes, that that's correct. I I studied just on Sunday, but during the day I was studying on my own 
and I was uh, listening or and speaking uh, at work. But yeah. at the at the beginning, is that correct to say that? In the beginning. In the beginning. Yes, in the beginning, it was it was very really hard for me because uh, we I didn't understand the people speaking English and I was yeah. very frustrated about it. It's normal, it's normal. It's with the pass of time that you realize that people start speaking and you start like picking out words, right? Or phrases. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's when you feel like, good, hey, I got that and I got that and I could understand this. And after a while, you start getting more and more and more, right? Yes. That's was, because you are already started thinking in English. Yes. Uh, what you said, it's, it's right because I was just like taking words. I listened one word and I, uh, I understood. And then I, I tried to understand what they were saying, depending on the, on the context. Yeah, sure. Okay, mm -hmm. and what about this course? How do you feel this course is helping you? It, this course is helping me a lot because when I, when I, when I'm not in class, when we stop, um, I feel like it, it's harder for me. It's harder, right? Yeah. It's harder for me to speak English at work. And when I speak with a classmate, when, when I am in this, when I'm taking classes here online, I feel more fluent and I think that the words came to my to my head automatic. How do you say like automatic? automatically? Automatically. Automatically. I think that the words come to my to my head automatically. Uh, because I am two hours here listening English and I am almost the whole day listening English at work. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of confidence. You feel more confidence because you feel like you are practicing more. Yes, when I when I am listening English two hours at night every day five five days a week, uh, I think um, I feel my head my head more more fresh. Yeah, and more like on line with the language yes that's it and even even the 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 pronunciation i feel better when i i am speaking here in the class when i stop taking classes online i feel like my pronunciation is not the same it's very, oh, really? it's very good i like to to take classes here online it's pretty peculiar your case actually you know sylvia and you got a very good accent, a very good pronunciation. I like your fluency. I like your confidence. That's very important that, I mean, whenever I ask you, you start speaking and you're very confident when you express yourself. And besides that, I mean, the vocabulary we use in the classes is like, I mean, the, the one that come in the manual is like, well, this one is quite easy for you because it's related to, to to something that you see, not yeah. your area, but something that you see all every day, like restaurants, we've been talking about restaurants, quality, the attention, how to serve people. And that's that's mostly what you are into, right? But I mean, as far as I can tell right now, you are uh, on a very good level of English. And as I tell you, your accent, your pronunciation, and your fluency is very good. I will recommend you that. Don't stop. Don't stop. Continue because you are in a pretty good path. Buen buen camino. Okay? okay. So don't stop. The way you are working right now is perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. I will take it no. into account. No, thanks to you for being here in my class. Well, Sylvia, our time is over. Actually, it was over like three minutes ago, but we got excited <laughs> speaking. Yeah. Nice listening to you. I, I actually like your accent. It's cool. It's cool. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, Peter. I really appreciate nah. it.
No, for real. I mean, I like the way you you form your words. That's nice because it's. Uh, I mean, it's not quite common for me to get students who have that opportunity that you get your accent and your pronunciation. You got a very good hearing. Tiene buen oído because I mean, you hear the people and you reproduce the words in the correct way. That's great, awesome. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Sylvia. Have a good Thank night. Thank you so Rest. much. Have a good Bye -bye. night. Bye.